Hey everyone, my name is Alan Thrall. I like lifting weights and I somewhat recently got into running. I try not to spend too much time on social media, but even still, I've noticed that some of the running community does a lot of the same stuff that the lifting community does. Stuff that kind of annoys me. Number one, they both worry too much about their technique looking a certain way. I've already talked about this at length for lifters, but some runners do the same thing. Don't run like this, red X. Run like this, green check mark. I'm all for sharing tips and helpful technique cues. I'm not saying that running and lifting technique does not matter. Being efficient and moving weight or running is a good thing. But I do roll my eyes when people worry so much about their technique needing to look a certain way or content creators who tell you to look a certain way. We are all different individuals with different heights, weights, anthropometry, limb length, gait, stride length, footfall, posture, and so much more. You might be a tall, lanky person with heavy feet and a choppy stride. You might be a petite, compact person who glides across the asphalt like a gazelle. Your long legs and short torso might require a lot of bending over during a full depth squat. Or you might effortlessly high bar squat with a perfectly vertical torso up and down like a piston. None of these things are right or wrong. And my point is, we are all built differently and we tend to move accordingly. We are adaptable creatures and we become accustomed to the way we've moved our whole lives. I am especially bothered by runners who make bold claims like, you have shin splints because you run like this, red X. Your knees hurt because you have poor running posture, red X. Blaming the cause of pain on purely mechanical reasons. You're probably experiencing pain because you're running too many miles, too fast, too soon. Not because your arms swing across your body instead of front to back. Number two, worrying too much about the minor details of scheduling. Should I run before a weight training session or after? Can I run and do a lower body weight training session on the same day? Should I have one day off between my runs and my squat session? These sound a lot like, should I squat or deadlift first? Can I squat and deadlift on the same day? How many days of rest should I have between squats and deadlifts? The number one answer to all of these questions, running or lifting, whatever you prefer. What works best with your schedule? What feels better for you? Run first, lift second? Lift first, run second? You are probably not gonna affect your results positively or negatively by switching around your workouts. Your routine should be what's easiest to stick with. Personally, I find it easier to go on a run first thing in the morning than it is to get ready and go to the gym and lift. That's why I do it. I've enjoyed upper body weight training sessions on the same days as my run because they're usually shorter than lower body sessions. I like lower body sessions on my non-running days because I feel best and have more time that way. It comes down to personal preference and scheduling. There was a few months where the best time for my run during the day was on my way to the gym. So I'd run to the gym, do my squats, and then I'd run or bike home if my bike was at the gym. What are you emphasizing? Are you training for a powerlifting meet? Then running should be on the back burner and you should probably lift weights whenever you feel best and have the most time. Are you training for a race? You should probably devote your running workouts to the days when you have the most energy, most time, and least amount of stress. Lifting is on the back burner. It needs to be done, but it's not a priority. Fit your workouts in according to your personal schedule and preference. You can't go wrong in that way. And number three, worrying too much about progression. I gotta lift more weight than last week. I gotta do more reps. I gotta run more miles. I gotta run faster. I need to progressively overload in order to make progress. You can run the same distance at the same pace week after week, or even slower. You can lift the same weight for the same reps week after week, or even less. Add weight or increase pace and mileage when you feel comfortable, or when the same thing starts requiring less effort. You don't need to overload yourself by always stressing about doing more, especially when you are doing more and it feels harder. We become attracted to doing more because it makes us think that we are getting better. But if we do more and it's harder, it doesn't necessarily mean we are improving. Barbell Medicine talks about using the term progressive loading rather than progressive overloading in their podcast. I'd highly suggest checking that out. I hope this video didn't come off as negative. I'm trying to do the opposite by encouraging you not to fret if your running technique is a little sloppy. Plan your running and lifting sessions in a way that fits your schedule and go slow. If you do it for long enough, you'll get better. Thanks for watching and always remember, Trend on time.